So Nick, having Jack back at practice yesterday, let's start with that. What's that? What kind of boost does that give you guys? Oh man, it's just good to it's just good to see him, um, you know, back out there and running around. Um, you know, he was here all off season, you know, working working his butt off trying to get back, and he was here every day, um, you know, trying to get back. So it's good to see him finally, you know, starting to get back to the swing of things. Obviously, big news yesterday with the Deshaun suspension decision. I guess, like, have you guys talked about that as a team? Has Deshaun talked to you at all? What's the move been like around here the last like 24 hours or so? I mean, you know, Co uh, Coach Stefanski he addressed the team and you know let everybody know the situation. Um, but you know, everybody has full faith in Jacoby. You know, he's coming. You know, come to work every day. Been about his business. Um, you know, trying to prepare. So, um, yeah. What have you gotten to know about those guys from working with them, you know, especially the last couple weeks in this ramp-up? Who are what guys? Deshaun Just... and Jacoby, like the differences oh. between them. Any, oh. Anything you kind of want to say? Um, I mean, no, nah, they're both great players. They both have been out here preparing, um, you know, tremendously. Um, we're, we're going through the drills and th going through the team periods and everything, though. So, you know, the, both those guys are really good players. They played a lot of good football in this league, so there's no, you know, they're, 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 they're good. Does anything change for you when quarterbacks are sharing reps and you're snapping? Nope. At the end of the day, you know, we all have our uh, jobs to uh, handle. We all got to take care of our singular jobs um, as a collective effort as a team. So um, nothing changes for me. You've been in camp so far. Anything different this year knowing you're going to be the number one guy? Nothing's different. I'm just, you know, approaching every day, trying to get better, thinking, thinking a couple things uh, every day to, you know, improve and, um, you know, try and just bring this, bring the group, to, uh, the O line, the offense, all together, so we're just one co cohesive unit. Do you feel like though you're like, I mean, is it, is it, you're stronger, like? Sound, they've, kind of, they've been kind of been talking about that kind of just how you've evolved as a player and since you've been here. Do you feel like you can see the results of that now? Yeah, I mean, you know, I tried this, this offseason to really take care of my, uh, you know, my body and try and change my body composition, put on some weight, um, you know, put on some muscle. So um, I, I do think so. I do think so. I, you know, going through these practices, I've, I've you know, realized, you know, I, can, I, I feel a little bit different, a little bit heavier. and. You know, it feels good. So I'm just glad to, you know, know that that, um, that work is, you know, paying off. And, um, yeah. You know, you talked to my coworker Dan, for that one-on-one -on -one story for us last week. And I know you were talking about eating and how you were eating so much this offseason. I guess yeah. what were, like, your favorite things to eat to kind of, like, up to that calorie count that you were trying to uh, I, I It wasn't really, like, favorite things. <laughs> yeah. it, it more was, like, I was just eating kind of just for the, the results of trying to, you know, put on muscle and put on good lean weight. Um, so I, I wouldn't say there was anything, no any, any no favorite meals, but um, you know, I just tried to, I just tried to enjoy what I could. Yeah. Lots <laughs> of protein, I assume. Yes, yes, <laughs> nonstop, yeah. nonstop. I know too. You've talked about like you being like quote unquote undersized or whatever height wise doesn't like really bother you. It, it's just been a part of your game. I guess like how has your thinking like evolved on that? Just like I, I've got to do what I can with the, the body I have, sort of thing. Yeah, no, I'm, nothing's really changed. Um, you know, I just like I like I like you just mentioned. I've always had to deal with it when I was coming out of high school, when I was coming out of college. When I was, you know, and now I'm here, like everybody always talks about it. It's like, I get it. Like, I, I get it. I'm not like 6'4", but, you know, it's, it's just what it is. And, you know, I try and learn different tools and different techniques that help me with my size. And I, I t personally, I don't think it's a, a, an issue. Um, you know, I just, I think it honestly helps me in, in certain situations. So um, I, don't, I don't, my thought process hasn't changed on that at all. I just think it's um, something that people are always going to mention. You guys always kind of like to get out and pull and all that. I mean, do you see that as one of your strengths? Uh, I mean, it's definitely something our, our whole room takes pride in. We have a lot of ath athletic guys in our room, so it's definitely something that, um, you know, we, we emphasize um, not just me, but, you know, every every guy in that room. So, um, yeah, I think I think we have a good group of guys that can do that stuff on any, any you know, any time. When you think about your last couple years here, I guess, like, what's the, can you, like, pinpoint an area where you think you've grown or evolved the most? Um, honestly, just, like, my body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, to be completely honest with you, just this last, this last offseason, um, just really dialing in on my eating and trying to make, make sure, like, you know, my body composition is, you know, ready to, you know, 
play a 17, you know, set hopefully more um, game season. Um, so, I mean, that's a, that's a part of this game that people take, like, they don't, outside looking in, people don't understand. Like, it, that's a lot of, a lot of games, a lot of running, a lot, you know, so you got, constantly got to be, you know, changing, you know, fixing your body. Um, so I try and take advantage. Uh, I tried to take advantage of that during the soft season, trying to get ahead of the curve. So um, I think that, I think personally, honestly, that, that probably would be the, yeah. the biggest thing. Did you have to find a chef or anything? I did it all myself. <laughs> did you learn how to cook? Yeah, well, I already, I kind of already knew how to cook, but uh, um, yeah, I had to do it all myself, so that's fine. Like I, like I said, I wanted to, you know, be in charge of that and you know, um, you know what I was putting in my body, and not have to rely on anybody else. Ten chicken breasts a day or something? Yes, it was all types of stuff. It was all types of, so I couldn't, so I didn't have to get bored with it. Yeah, are you excited to get the full pads on today finally? Yeah, I mean, I don't like up front. Our, our practice doesn't really change yeah. whether we have the other fads on or not. We're always yeah. running fast, you know, moving fast yeah. with Coach Callahan. So our practices don't really change. But I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to put the pads on. But you know, I, I, there's no real difference for us yeah. up front. Yeah. Are you excited though that you finally your shot to you know move into the line? You got to be pretty pumped about moving into the line. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. You know, that's obviously, you know, growing up, that's what you want to do is you want to play um, in the NFL. And, um, you know, finally, you know, I, I had to play my role for the for last two years and just learn and grow in that in that position. And you know, I'm glad, luckily enough, you know, I, I've got the opportunity now, you know, to start. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to just, you know, grow in that position and just keep getting better and just keep building on it. One quick thing about Jacoby, is he impressed, has his leadership impressed you? I think I think that whole room, their their leadership is, uh, you know, is, is they they're they're good players and they're, and they're greater and they're better leaders, um, just from the time that we've had with all of them OTAs, and uh, camp. I know they they all they all have um, shown that they're you know about their business and you know ready to lead the team.